Hi, I'm Orion Laysleeper, and I am five foot nine. Tourmaline Pigmatite! Oh, is that its name? Yes. I would like to hear the story of Tourmaline Pegmatite. You would? Yes, I would. I have not huh. heard a lot of rock stories. Rocks are closed linked. Hmm. Or maybe I just need to learn to speak rock. But please, tell me the story of the Touring Pegmatic Rock. Tourmaline Pegmatite. Tourmaline Pegmatite begins with fire. Lava and magma deep inside our Earth. Deep inside the Earth? Then how do you find it? That must be hard. It starts under the Earth, but fluid pressure forces this molten mass toward the surface, where it gathers in pools. In these pools or voids, it acquires water and various minerals. As it cools, the gases release and create pressure, which create holes where this tourmaline and other gems may crystallize and form. How do you find the voids? You don't. Erosion, or geological upheavals, bring them the rest of the way to the surface. And with planning, one can find them in a rock-finding expedition. A rock-finding expedition? What's that? Do you do that? Yes. Out in the country, with backpacks and tents? Yes. With maps and compasses and... Sleeping under the stars? Technically, yes, but... With a picnic every day? I guess. I do eat outside. But how do you know where the rocks are? Largely through maps. <clears throat> One locates perhaps uh, uh, an outcropping of bedrock where the earth has been thrust up, bringing interesting bits with it or a crevasse, or a gully where the water runoff may have deposited rocks from higher elevations. It's like a treasure hunt, but for rocks, like X marks the spot. Sort of. Yes, it is, skunk. Badger, what are we waiting for? Ah, <laughs> now it's the middle of the night. But with a great moon... It takes planning. Lots, skunk. But soon, okay? Ah, sure, skunk. Absolutely. Oh, and you were right. The cereal minerals are not tasty.